It's booty blast time. Woo -hoo. Sorry, we were a little bit late. We had to take some selfies <laughs> with our shirts and our booty shaking moves. We are so excited to see you guys for some booty blast. And we've got Nader's fried rice song. Who likes to eat fried rice? <laughs> Anybody out there? I do. It's good. I don't usually eat it, but I like it. Where's our team? We lost them. They were like, you guys are taking way too long to get back on camera. So um, I'm going to tag some friends and we're going to get started. Today, I just need you and your booty. That's it. And a mat. We're going to just um, do a lot of tabletop work, a lot of isolation, and really tap into um, the glutes. Where is everybody, Alicia? Ooh. Nobody's here. There's one. We got one? Okay, they see us? Woo! All right, it's booty blasting time. We're just waiting for you guys. Just grab your, your bodies. That's it. Booty blast with Emma. Okay. Here we go, team. So good to see you. Hi, Donna. All right. Yeah, let me lower the camera. So we are going to sit and tabletop a lot. I'm going to get you guys fired up. We're going to use Alicia's uh, glutes and hip bridges. We're going to start off with just some glute squeezes to get our glutes activated and get ourselves ready for a big workout. So um, what I want you to do is just squeeze your glutes. So Alicia's going to do it laying down. There's no bridge in this one. Just squeeze your glutes. I'm going to do it in standing. So all you're going to do is put your hands here on your glutes so you can feel them and squeeze the glutes. I don't want you to squeeze the quads. I don't want you to use your back. Just your glutes. Now let's do 10 of those. 10 and squeeze it. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Did you feel that? Good. Now we're going to do right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, so you can separate the glutes and you really know when you're activating them, okay? Sound good? Like a ball? Like a ping pong? <laughs> so one, ready? Right and left and right and left and squeeze it. Don't get it in your back. Solely in those glutes. Side to side. I can feel them. My hands are here. I'm moving my little butt cheeks. I don't know if they're little, but... Side to side, four, three, two, and one. The reason I'm getting you to activate those glutes is so that you can really tap into them today, okay? Today we're gonna take a little bit slower repetition and really focus on our core and bracing our abs as we do lots of movements today to make sure that our backs are completely straight and flat when we're doing things, okay? Are you ready to work those booty booties? Woo! All right, let's start here. We're gonna start on our side, and Alicia, I think if you go opposite so they can see your head. So like if I'm on this side, then you switch to that side. Can you guys see the pretty Alicia over there? Oh, I'm sorry, sexy Alicia is her name. Oh, I just messed up her name, here we go. All right, we're gonna start with the sides first. We're doing lots of repetition, and then we'll move to the back. And just, we're doing a lot of tabletop work today, okay? So let's just lift and lower, pull the belly in tight, and keep your hips square. So what I want you to do is put your hand on your hip. It's not rotating. Okay, hip is not opening to the back or to the side. Everything's right here, okay? Triple pulse, three, two, and one. Keep the hand on the hip. That's why the hand is on the hip. Can you feel it? Okay, now exhale as you lift and pull the belly in tight. And you don't even have to go too high. Single. Notice how I'm keeping my range kind of short today because I really want to isolate and keep the hips in the right position. Instead of going all the way up here and now I'm externally rotating everything, okay? So lift and lower. Just because it's high doesn't mean it's better. Two. One. Rest it. We're going to do lots of pulses. Now keep the hips square. Ready? Let's go. We're going eight. Seven. Isolation. Breathe. And one. Drop down. Let's go for eight. Keeping the hand on the hip. Oh my goodness. Do you feel the fire? And it's just a baby movement. Do it again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, shoot. Eight, seven. How you doing? You're doing good? And you're keeping those hips square. Awesome. Rest it for a second. Just pull it in for a little stretch. Pat it out a little bit. Okay. You're feeling it. It's okay. Now you're going to bring the leg in and out. And we're going to use the heel. In. And out, hips are still square. In and out. Oh my gosh, anybody else dying out there with me? I'm like, oh my gosh, speed this up, please. <laughs> Woo! 
and rest it for a second. Go. In and out. I get it. I'm getting those hearts. You know what they need to add to us? The peach emoji. Yeah. <laughs> Control it if you lose the hips, stop and rest, okay? I'm all about us really learning how to isolate and control and use the abs, okay? Take a little break. All right, we're gonna go to the front. So stretch that neck. You need to stretch your neck out here. Come in here really quick, a little stretch. Okay, pull it in. Okay, let's go back. So we're gonna bring the leg in front. Stay right here. Tiny movement, lift and lower. Not very high, and breathe through it. Good. I feel like I'm getting this ready to have a baby. <laughs> Let's do this. Three, two, one, and breathe, and three, and two, and one. Don't worry, we're not having babies over here. Estamos muy viejitas nosotras. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, three. Two, one, rest. You're almost there. Oh, is anybody dying with me? Yes. Three, two, and one. Okay, and hold. And just pat out that glute. What we're going to do is we're going to use that leg really quick because that was the working leg right now. We're going to go into that little crescent pose and just stretch out that booty booty. How do you feel? We were working those side lines, you know, how you're always grabbing that and ladies and saying, dang it, why is this not working for me? <laughs> So remember though, you can't spot train, okay? We all gain weight and lose weight wherever our body likes to do it. Some of us store it in our arms, some of us store it in our thighs, some of you store it in your boobs. What's up with that? Oh. <laughs> um, so you can't spot train. If you wanna lose weight or lose fat, you have to eat well and move your body, right? But what we can do is strengthen the muscles in those parts of our bodies that we want to get stronger, right? Okay, so we just did our sides to the front. We're gonna take it to the back now. I gave you a little break. So just a little quick tip from your trainer friend, Mary Fulton Fit. Let's go to the back. My boss at work, when I was at work, he was so cute. He kept calling me, Mary Fulton Fit, Mary Fulton Fit. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Keep it up, keep it up. How's this little rainbow feeling? And put your hand on your hip. Still keeping those hips square in line with each other. To the back and just lift it back here. Lift and lift and lift. Breathe. Hips are still square. How we do with those little taps? Good? Yeah. Just feeling like a different burn, right? In four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay. We're going to stay on this leg. We're going to hit the backs of it, okay? So we're going to do a couple different things. Now remember what I talked about was keeping our hips square. So I'm gonna show you, and then I'm also gonna use Alicia's body today to help you. So both hands go under the shoulders, everybody, okay? Your knees should be hips width apart. Can you do a check for me? Awesome. Then your back should be flat. There shouldn't be any like double arching like this, you're gonna hurt your back. There shouldn't be any rounding. So you wanna pull the belly in tight right here. I'm gonna lift up my shirt, okay? Pull the belly in tight so that you're not arching. See, there's no arch in my back and I'm not dropping it. Do you see that? Okay. All right. So we're going to take the front leg, flex the foot or straighten out the leg. Everybody fight to keep these hips stable. Just a little lift and tap. Don't worry about height yet. I want you to isolate, breathe, and pull the hips. Make sure that you're not putting more pressure on one side than the other. Lift lift and tap. How we doing? How we doing? How come nobody's answering? Just kidding. <laughs> lift and tap. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Listen to your body. Keep going. Just lift. So I'm going to come over here. She's pretty straight, just a little bit tilted, which I'm sure that you probably are too. I need you to really isolate, breathe. Can you feel the difference? Okay, and don't let this arch down. Yeah. Okay, because that's when we put pressure on the back. And that's when you get injured like me. I was starting to use too much of my back in exercises. Okay, and so I caused that sciatic nerve to get really mad at me. All right, now three, two, and one. Little tiny pulses. Three, two, one. Squeezing the glute. Remember to activate the glute for me. Single lift. Remember, you don't have to go that high. 
notice that my range isn't that high. When you've got it mastered, your hips are squared, then you can add the range. Eight little pulses. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and top. Again, eight. Keeping the hips super square. Yeah, there you go, Alicia. Now pull it in. In and out. Still keeping the hips square. So slow it down. Ready? Out and in. I know you're going to think I'm going really slow today, but I want you to just trust me, okay? You will feel more and you will do the exercises correctly. So when you shoot out, don't arch your back. That's what people do. Remember how I say don't arch your back when you're doing um, sit-ups and stuff? Exactly. Same thing here. Are you feeling it more in the glute now? Yeah. How's that booty booty? All right, now we're gonna do hold here for a rest, okay? You feeling it all in the hammies and the glutes, no back. Perfect, if you feel it in your back, it's because you're not bracing your abs. All right, how are you doing, Alicia? Woo. All right, three pulses and then in and out. So we're going three, two, one, and in and out. And three, two. I know you're getting excited about the music. Keep your hips square, keep breathing. Pull in the belly button. Get in my belly button. <laughs> more rest breaks so that we don't lose our form and then start working wrong parts of our body and get injured. Come back. So again, back is tuck in that belly button for me. Use your heel and we're going to go into a donkey kick. So up. So this is the one where you might start to, when you get to this extension, you start to drop the back. Okay. You feel it? Okay. So don't worry, we're going to start now. That was just like an intro. <laughs> Eight and down. Seven. Really isolate. Pull the belly in. Six. Five. Do you feel it now? Four. Three. Two. And one. You know what? It really makes a difference. Okay? This is what I'm working on in my physical therapy. Okay? And it's helping me, so I'm helping you. All right, let's go. Three pulses. Three, two, one. Don't drop that back into an arch. Three, two, one. Pull the belly to the side. Three, two, one. And where do you really feel it, everybody? Yes. What, it what have I done? muscles in a while. Okay, so we're going to keep going. We're not done. We're going to bring that leg up and we're going to hold it in the little hamstring curl. Okay, so extend it out. But remember, look, you're going to get off balance. Just square yourself up. In and out. Be mindful. Pull the belly in tight. How's my team? Woo!
about low, medium, high. Low, middle, and high.
glass. All right. Yeah, this one's different than some of the other ones we've done. I mean, I know we always do tabletop work, but this is more focused. So I realize that 30 minutes goes pretty fast. So again, talking about our backs, look, do you see how I'm kind of dropping my back right here? So this tends to happen when we go really high. Do you see that drop? We don't want that to happen. You see this drop? Do you see the difference? Okay, so that's why I'm not having you go as high. When you're ready, you can, but you have to have the strength from the core to do it, to balance you and to keep your hips square. Otherwise, you will hurt that uh, L5 and L4. They're gonna get mad at you like me. Ready? All right, pull the belly in tight. So we're gonna go straight up and down. So again, square the hips off. Yeah. 
them today. Those are all in stock, so they'll get mailed out to you today. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> if you ordered the Mary Fulton Fit shirts yesterday, you'll be getting them. I mailed them out. <laughs> getting good. Getting good. Um, but um, if you ordered a squat shirt, that's, I have to send the order in, so not dead yet. It's on you. It's on you. Don't be left behind. I'm trying to figure out what extras time. I should buy. Make the move, baby. I think everyone's gonna like this. It's on me. It's, it's on me. Don't think, just do. Don't think, just do. Don't think, just do. Don't think, just get one. Don't think, just get one. Don't think, just get one. Bye.